Hello and welcome to this Maple Systems presentation, Automation Advanced. I'm Adam Anderson, Maple Systems Product Trainer. I'd like to discuss with you today first about Maple Systems and what we bring to the table for industrial automation with our advanced HMI series. These are extremely affordable and capable devices. We'll also touch on our CMT series HMIs, which are more powerful and IIoT ready. First about Maple Systems, we were founded in 1983 and we're based in Everett, Washington. We're proud to be an employee-owned company and we strive to deliver high quality control solutions at affordable prices. We have a very friendly and knowledgeable sales and support engineering staff and we offer free tech support, documentation, and sample projects on our website maplesystems.com. Our support center is available 24-7. We also have on-demand application engineering services wherein we can convert an application from another vendor's HMI into a Maple HMI application. Get in touch with anyone on our sales team to discuss this option. Our advanced HMIs for automation are extremely affordable, flexible, and capable, and my hope is to demonstrate that to you today. First of all, it should be noted that our programming software for our HMIs is free. That's called EB Pro. And as for the top benefits of our advanced HMI platform, I would put first and foremost all of our PLC communication protocols. Our HMIs can talk to over 300 types of PLCs and controllers. Data logging is another huge benefit of our HMI platform where we can save your application data from your PLC or controller to the HMI. We can sample data frequently up to 100 milliseconds intervals. We can store the data in a CSV format and we can also allow for backing up and exporting the data to USB or SD card as well as emailing it or making it accessible over FTP. Alarming is an important feature and in addition to being able to display alarms and alerts on screen to operators you can also send email and SMS notifications to any operator or administrator directly from the HMI. VNC and remote access this is increasingly important in today's world. This is made possible on our HMIs using the Easy Access 2.0 VPN. The license for this is built into many of our advanced HMI models and we'll show you a few of those today. And finally, simulation mode. This is a feature that lets you test out everything from our HMI platform before you even buy any hardware from us. Online simulation means that your PC will act as a virtual HMI and it can talk to your controllers and PLCs whether that's over Ethernet or serial. We have a number of our HMI models listed below from the advanced HMI family just to give you a sense of how affordable these are. In the center of our screen here we have the dark gray HMI that's pictured. The 5043LB is a 4.3 inch touchscreen that lists at 320. Above that to the right we have a 7 inch HMI picture that is a dual Ethernet model which includes our remote access VPN license for Easy Access 2.0. That's the 5070DL and the list price is $495. Below that to the right we have a 10 inch model that features Wi-Fi and remote access. That's our 5103L model and the list price is $695. Above that to the right is a status display station, often used for and on message boards and KPI displays. This has an HDMI output port, so you can connect it to any HDMI monitor or large screen TV. This is our RMI 5001, and list price is $490 for this one. All of the models that I'm going to show you today are listed CE, FCC, Rojas, and UL, by the way. I'd like to touch more on our controllers and our communication protocols and then show you where you can look up more information about the software features and hardware features of our HMIs and compare them to find the right model for your application. To begin, if you go to our website maplesystems.com slash HMI and you click on the PLC connectivity tab you'll be taken to this page and here to the right you can see a cluster of many of the logos of the manufacturers whose controllers our HMIs can communicate with but you'll get the full list if you scroll down here on this page and you can directly download the instructions for setting up this communication. These instructions we call our controller information sheets. Again, these are all available for free on our website. We also have a training video to the right there that's embedded. That just shows you an example of setting up communication with a Modbus TCP IP master device from our HMIs. 
from our software features tab you can see the full list of all of the features for each of our HMI series and families whether it's basic advanced or smart CMT HMIs and from the products tab you can compare all of our HMI models you can filter by display size price resolution and other features and you can see what kinds of interfaces the HMIs include as well as other features like whether it includes our remote access license for Easy Access 2.0. Now we'll look at our case studies and how Maple Systems customers are using our advanced HMIs to save money, reduce risks, and increase efficiency. To begin we have a cork manufacturing application here so this is in the food and beverage category. Our customer is using the HMI 5070L to control their wine bottle cork manufacturing equipment they selected this model, the light gray enclosure. This one lists at 590 and it is a 7 inch HMI that's also class 1 div 2. If you wanted with this model you could add our remote access feature using the Easy Access 2.0 activation card for an additional $90. Here we have an industrial chiller application where a Maple Systems customer has created a propylene glycol refrigeration system that features our HMI 5070L and they use this HMI to monitor and adjust their medium temperature glycol pump stations. In this case the HMI connects to a Mitsubishi FX3U PLC over serial RS485 and this controls two variable frequency drives. The HMI also acts as a Modbus RTU slave and is able to serve up alarm data to their system. Operators within their network can use VNC for administration. You might not be able to tell from this customer's photo, but the HMI is mounted up fairly high on this panel. And if you didn't want to reach up to control it, or if you're in another area of the facility, you could just simply use VNC to see exactly what's on the screen and control the application here. In this instance, we have a customer that has a medical application for blood storage, and they selected our HMI 5070P for this application. It's a 7-inch touchscreen with an aluminum enclosure, and they use this for blood bank refrigeration chamber control. The list price for this model is $750. Here we have a marijuana or cannabis application, and our customer selected the HMI 5121XL. This is a 12-inch HMI with an aluminum enclosure, list price $13.95. Here what the HMI does is, is it connects with an Allen Bradley Compact Logics PLC, and together with the PLC they're able to control and monitor all of what you see listed and what you see in the customer's screenshot here, strains and job numbers, emergency stop and line blockage alarms, tray filling and infeed, blowers and collectors, and debud and deleaf processes. Here we have two separate applications where a customer selected one of our advanced HMIs. We have a wastewater treatment plant application on the left where they selected a 7 inch model. And here you see that HMI 5070LB is mounted in a panel. The screen that's showing on the HMI says communication failure procedure at the top. So this is some set of instructions for an operator in the case that network connectivity is lost within their facility. On the right, this application is for lumber mill control. Our customer selected the HMI 5100L. This is a 10 inch model with a wide screen. And the list price for this one is 1050. Here we have a building control application in a crematorium. So a Maple Systems customer uses an advanced HMI with remote access here. They selected the HMI 5070DL that lists at 495 and includes our remote access license for Easy Access 2.0. What this HMI does technically speaking is first it scans and directly imports their BACnet tags from the Loitech IO controller that you see pictured to the right. The HMI also acts as an OPC UA client and is able to share IO points and tags with their SCADA system here. So here we get a good picture of how we have affordability, only 495 for this, with all the flexibility where we're communicating over BACnet, we're sharing data over OPC UA, and we have that remote access built in. Here we see our status display station in action at a customer's facility. This is the RMI 5001 that our customer chose to create an and-on message board application. 
The RMI 5001 has a 720p HDMI output, so they connect it to their large screen TVs as you see here. And they're able to present different statistics, alarms, and key performance indicators to their plant operators. And that's visible for everyone across the floor. On the left in this photo on screen, you see different job status indicators and alarm indicators. On the right, with that orange background, we see some shift total metrics, including current and previous shifts, and some efficiency percentages. Along the bottom of that screen in their application, they also have alarm bars with scrolling text to say, check your line so-and-so, and also process cycle time summary statistics. The customer sent in a photo for us, and that's in the lower right there, where they, they're showing their RMI 5001 that's DIN rail mounted in their facility. Now we'll dive into our demo of EB Pro simulation mode so you can get a sense of what it's like to develop an application with a Maple Systems Advanced HMI. Here we're in EB Pro, and from the Project tab, we can just click on Simulation to launch this. We can fully test out this application. So when we look at the features of EB Pro, we have all of our controller communication features, all of those protocol drivers that we include by default and for free. We have alarming and notifications, data processing and visualization and trending. Then we have industrial IoT like MQTT plus remote access and security and access controls. Let's take a look. Here on this screen we have examples of data acquisition. So for example the HMI is connecting to a Modbus TCP IP master device here and we're displaying analog inputs with a numeric display we're displaying a holding register and we have a numeric entry here so we can enter data. We have a bit lamp to show a digital input and a coil output with a toggle switch. On the right we're showing examples of data transfers where we can send a value, say a timer preset entry, from the HMI into an Allen Bradley Slick and Micro PLC. And then also transfer data between any two devices like the same Slick and Micro PLC we're going to send this counter accumulated value from the Slick and Micro back out to the Modbus PLC. We can do that in a one-time fashion or we can continuously sync data using the global data transfers. Here we're showing different ways to collect, convert, and display application data. First, data sampling or logging of data. We're tracking different tank fuel levels here at the top and below this we're tracking width and height, so product dimensions. With our macros, we can do different calculations. We can sum up the total fuel levels in different tanks like this, and we can calculate product area using those width and height dimensions here. To the right, we see that we can display any of these values and tags using bar graphs and using our real-time trend displays. Here you can see the values are being drawn on the chart as the application data is being sampled. With data conversion and all the formats that we support on our HMIs, you can show things like perhaps a counter or timer that you might have in your PLC in a binary format. You can show fault codes from your PLC in hex format. You can show index integers with a numeric display. And you can convert between any of these data formats on the HMI, whether it's a 32-bit or a 16-bit value. You can also use pie charts and meter displays to show off our I.O. points. Here's an example showing scaling of a raw analog input for a type K thermocouple. Here's our raw input and we can scale this to show the value in Fahrenheit with a numeric display using interpolation. Again we can convert this to a Celsius reading using a numeric display here. And we can show these using meters and bar graphs too. With data logging and trending, we can collect data from our PLCs and controllers and graph it on a chart like this where you see the channel values updating in real time. And when we click on the chart, we get the watch line values. So that's a snapshot of where the values were at that specific moment. If we want to dig more into the details and review all of our application logs, we could do that with the historian feature and a history data display. We can go back and review specifically what were the values for a given tag or a given register at one moment in time. With alarming and notifications, we can do things as simple as displaying when a job has started in our facility, say using a scrolling alarm bar like this. 
Here we have a green job started and a goldenrod job started, and we can show the types and quantities. Or we can show important alerts and warnings to operators here. We're showing a warning with a bit lamp, scrolling alarm bar, and we're also sending an SMS alert to an operator. And for critical alarms and events like we see here, we can show these on screen. We can have a blinking bit lamp indicator. And here we're sending an email and an SMS to operators and administrators for this code blue alert. With an alarm display, we can click on an event to acknowledge it. And then we can view all the logs and manage all of our events from an event log. We can click on an event to acknowledge it. We can also clear all the alarms at the push of a button and then go ahead and click to acknowledge the other alarms or acknowledge all at the same time. So we can do that with our event management features and we can keep track of total event counts and occurrences and the trigger times and dates and so on. With recipes for batch operations, we can send a whole set of parameters or set points for a given job to our PLC at the same time. For example, let's send this paint color, blue sky, which is comprised of different red, green, and blue amounts. We'll send that to our PLC. We can start the job running all at the same time. We can also copy this data back in a batch format using our recipe transfers back to the HMI, and we can make modifications, change the value, change the set points. We can store this in our recipe database on the HMI in non-volatile memory, and we can update or delete any of these recipes at any point in time. With industrial Internet of Things and our advanced HMIs, primarily we're talking about MQTT, where our HMIs can serve as MQTT clients or servers, brokers that is. So we can publish and subscribe to MQTT topics. We can allow other HMIs and controllers to publish data to the actual HMI itself. And then with OPC UA, the advanced HMIs can act as an OPC UA client to share data with your SCADA system. With our Smart CMT series HMIs, we also have additional IIoT features like our public cloud provider free plugins for MQTT. And then we have SQL integrations, which we'll show you. Here we see an example of what it's like to set up a remote access connection using our Easy Access 2.0 VPN. It's as simple as clicking start on the HMI itself so that you can get a session ID and password. And this lets you add this HMI to your web domain portal. And from there, you can manage it and control which users, which operators can interact with it and control it remotely. With Easy Access 2.0, you can connect your HMI from anywhere. You don't need to make any firewall changes, any port forwarding. You don't need any static IP set up, none of that. And you get end-to-end -end encryption. It's a one-time fee included with many of our HMIs by default and the license never expires. We have free apps for Windows, iPhone, and Android, by the way, that let you take advantage of this feature. With enhanced security, we can set privileges and security classes for our users on the HMI. We can add and delete users. We can modify them. We can even set up temporary users on the HMI. And then for EB Pro, we have project passwords that help you protect your application intellectual property and we can lock down access to different screens and areas of the application for your HMI. And also if you've created any macros in EB Pro, you can create a macro password to control who can access these. So that's our demo. Let's go back to our presentation. Talk more about our secure remote access and how that works here. The idea with remote access which again is increasingly important nowadays, is we want to save you time and money and help reduce risks. So how can you save yourself a trip with this technology? For example, let's start with our HMI here. This is a 5070DL dual ethernet 7 inch HMI that includes this VPN license for Easy Access 2.0. This price is $495. The idea with this is that from your PC or from your client side, whether that's on your smartphone or tablet as well, you can connect to the HMI no matter where you are and no matter if there's firewalls in between. If you're curious how this works is the HMI opens up a reverse tunnel, connects to the global VPN servers, and then gets a virtual IP address which is shared with your client. So the user gets a virtual IP address as well and only those two devices can communicate with each other. Everything is end-to-end -end encrypted using TLS and SSL. 
Once you've established this secure connection over TLS and SSL using the Easy Access 2.0 VPN, then what you use to actually interact with your HMI remotely as your operator interface for our advanced HMIs is VNC. And for our CMT HMIs, you would use the CMT Viewer app. This is also free and supported on all the platforms that we support. So this in combination allows you to remote into any advanced or CMT HMI and fully control it. And then through your web admin portal, you can control which users or operators can interact with and connect to your HMIs remotely. Finally, we have PLC pass-through, which is a huge bonus feature that lets you program your PLCs from the comfort of your home or office. You can connect to any remote PLC or controller for debugging and programming. You can get online with up to six connected devices at a time, and you can do this all through just one HMI that has Easy Access 2.0 running on it. Again, the license never expires and there's no recurring costs. With this model, each of your PLCs would get its own virtual IP address that's only shared with your client that's authorized to connect. So again, only authorized users get access to your application remotely. Now we'll explore a little of our Smart CMT series. These are more powerful, yet still surprisingly affordable Edge and IIoT HMIs, servers, and gateways. The first thing to know is that we have all the same set of communication drivers, over 300 PLCs and controllers that we can connect to from our CMT HMIs. And then we add additional features from what the advanced HMIs have. So for the CMT HMIs, we can also connect to public cloud providers, managed MQTT services, like those of Amazon AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud Platform. We can also publish data in a spark plug format, which would be useful if you have an ignition gateway system, for example. And the CMT HMIs all include a license for OPC UA server, so that any number of other devices can connect to the HMI itself and you can collate all your data there and make it available for the rest of the stakeholders in your organization to be able to look at and analyze. With our SQL integrations, we can back up application data. So not only can we store data and log it on the HMI, but we can also directly sync it to a connected MySQL or Microsoft SQL Server database. We can use SQL queries as well to request specific information from the database that's relevant to our running application, as well as to filter and perform more advanced analytics directly on the HMI. We have remote access with the Easy Access 2.0 VPN on all these models. We can operate these HMIs using the CMT Viewer app. Again, that's a free app, and you program these with EV Pro as well. As an example of the affordability for these very powerful HMIs, we have a 7-inch model with two Ethernet ports. That's the CMT3072. List price is 680. We have a 10-inch model with Wi-Fi that lists at 850. That's the CMT3103. Or a 15-inch touchscreen dual Ethernet Edge HMI, the CMT3151. List price 1890. Here we're showing an example of that SQL integration where this customer has chosen our 10-inch Wi-Fi Edge HMI, the CMT3103, that includes the remote access feature. Here what they do is they connect the HMI to an Automation Direct Productivity 1000 PLC that has an attached ID badge scanner. This is part of a security control in the facility where their staff can walk up to this machine, scan their ID badge. The HMI will read that information through the PLC and construct a SQL query that's then sent to their Microsoft SQL Server database that they have on site. So the HMI is requesting information back from the database. What it requests is that user's security and access level. They have four roles in this facility. That includes a QA role, an admin role, an operator role, for example. And once that information is retrieved, the HMI will direct the user to specific protected functions and windows, areas that that user is allowed to access. They're also logging data on the HMI and syncing it to the same Microsoft SQL Server database at the same time here. An example of how a customer is using one of our edge servers is in water, wastewater, and irrigation. This is a systems integrator that shows our CMT SVR 102 specifically for its wide operating temperature range of negative 20 to 55 degrees Celsius. For remote access, where they can control and program their application, the HMI or PLC, from anywhere. And for MQTT publishing functionality, so they can send 
data from their PLC directly into their ignition gateway system in the spark plug B format. And they also like the graphical user interface they get with the CMT viewer app they can use on their phone or on their tablet. And they use the alarm notifications with email and SMS alerts on this device. The list price for the CMT SVR102 is just 340 and again includes the remote access license. Here we see a customer's application with the CMT gateway, the CMT GO1 Edge gateway. This customer chose this model for their oil and gas pipeline monitoring application. They have 14 of the CMT GO1 installed along the pipeline and each of these connects to an ABB total flow flow computer and then it will publish the tags and IO points via MQTT with spark plug B to their ignition gateway system. The list price for this model is 390 it also includes the OPC UA server license built in. But that's not all. Before we go, you should know about our HMC series. That's HMI and PLC combo units. These are expandable HMI and PLC in one. They're all class one div two. They feature data logging, visualizations, alarms, web screens, graphics, and more. And you can choose for logic editing whether to use a native ladder mode or an IEC mode. Here we see an example. On the right there you see one of our HMCs that's facing away from us and has an I.O. module attached into the slot there in the back. This one, for example, would start at 395. That's a 4.3 inch touchscreen HMC, the 3043A-M. All of these again are class 1 div 2 and you can get up to a 10 inch touchscreen in our HMCs. But that's still not all. You should know about our industrial PCs if you don't. We have box PCs, open HMIs, and panel PCs in this category. These are an open platform with a Windows operating system. They're perfect as a SCADA platform, and you can bundle your purchase with a Indusoft Web Studio license. You can upgrade the hardware, you can add a Wi Fi kit to any of these, and you can get a steel or aluminum chassis. These start at 750 To the right here, we see an example of how a customer is using one of our panel PCs. This is an installation at the Space Needle where they recently installed a rotating glass floor and what controls the rotation and the motors here is a maple panel PC with Web Studio. I'd like to thank you for joining us today for our presentation. We have our contact information on this slide and we'll list it below. Just know that we're here to help. We have our 24-7 support center at maplesystems.com for YouTube training videos, sample projects, and quick start guides. If you'd like to call in and speak to one of us, you can call in from Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. are our hours, Pacific time. Thanks again, and thanks for choosing Maple Systems. Until next time.